This is my trimmer. Let's see how it works. Oh ho! DC motor. This kind of motor are everywhere. Some are big and more powerful like motor in this mixture. It's more powerful than the motor in my trimmer. This toy has a small motor inside too. Big pumps have big motors. But principle on which these all motors work is very very simple. We suspend a small aluminium bar from a stand using a copper wire. Now we place a powerful horseshoe magnet such a way that the aluminium bar lies between two poles. North pole is vertically below the bar. Now if we send electricity through this bar, it will get displaced. Means if we keep a electricity carrier in a magnetic field, a force will be exerted on the carrier. If the direction of the current is reversed, the carrier would be displaced in opposite direction. The direction of the force exerted on the carrier kept in a magnetic field can be found using simple Fleming's left hand rule. Stretch your thumb, index finger and middle finger this way such that they are perpendicular to each other like this if the index finger is pointing towards the direction of magnetic field the middle finger is pointing towards the direction of current then the thumb will point to the direction of motion of the carrier that is the direction in which the force is applied now this simple rule is behind dc motors look this simple model of a motor a coil is placed between two magnetic poles, generally two poles of a horseshoe magnet. Now two terminals of the coil is attached to two half ring which can rotate freely around the axle. Now watch really closely what happens when we turn on the electricity. Electricity is flowing in through this arm. Middle finger is pointing to the direction of electric current. Index finger is pointing to the direction of magnetic field that is from north pole to south pole. So thumb would be pointing to the direction of force exerted on the carrier. Here it is downward. So the arm would move downward. Now we move to opposite arm. Electricity is coming back through this arm. So the direction is opposite. Middle finger pointing to the direction of electric current which is reversed. Index finger is pointing to direction of magnetic field. So thumb is pointing to the direction of force exerted on carrier. It is upward means the arm would move upward. So both the arm is moving anti-clockwise. So together they will create an anti-clockwise rotation. If we reverse the flow of electricity, the coil would rotate in opposite direction, that is clockwise direction. This arm would move upward and this arm would move downward. And you can verify it using Fleming's left hand rule. So that's how a simple motor works. It's nothing but magnet and coil. Still, it has so many applications. Isn't physics cool? So that's all for now. See ya.